If you have a grooming table and work with your dog at home on a grooming table, or if you're a professional, these are some items that are going to help you keep your dog from moving around on the table, dancing around, not very compliant. All these items can be picked up on Amazon. I'm going to link them. This particular item is a groomer's helper grooming loop. I'm going to show you the exact way to utilize this properly on the grooming table to keep your dog safe and secure. This is a nice little extension that I have found. I'm going to show you how I use this with a grooming arm and the groomer's helper in combination to keep your dog safely secured on the grooming table so they don't dance around. And this is one I made from paracord. You could make it from anything. You don't have to know how to do paracord. You could make this with, with any type of rope or whatever you want to do. But I'm going to show you how I use all three of these. Um, you can choose which one would work best for you. They are very, very helpful and very necessary, guys. So that's why I am so excited to share this with you today. The first thing I want to show you is the Groomer's Helper Grooming Loop. This is very important because it has this hook on it. And the hook is fastened so it will not move. So it will stay where we want it. And it's adjustable to any dog. So it works like a collar and you have this clamp here that allows you to adjust too for the size of your dog's neck. See this? This would be like the collar. This is adjustable. You can shorten that up if you need to. So I'm going to put it on Gus and show you how to properly use the groomer's helper before I then show you how to use the groomer's helper in combination with something else to keep your dog close to the grooming arm and facing in the direction that you want them to be faced in. Very important. So Gus, come here. Over here, honey. Come here. So Gus is a big boy. Good job, bud. He's a big boy. So this clamp is adjustable. You know, you can lock it into place when it's where you need it to be. So I'm gonna open it up and we're going to put it around Gus and clamp it just like a collar. Now you want this resting in any grooming loop, right here under their jaw, not here at their trachea. You want it under their jaw, if you can see this. Now how you get it to stay there is by adjusting your grooming arm once you have adjusted your grooming loop. So I'm gonna fit this to Gus, so you can see he's full of hair. So I'm going to put this like you fit it like you would a collar. You want to be able to nicely get two fingers in there and I'm going to lock it into place. So it is right under Gus's jaw. So it's not hurting him. It's going to guide him in the right way. Now, I know big boy. I'm going to hook it to my grooming arm. Now you can see there's a lot of play in this. That's what you don't want. If there's a lot of play, here Gus, come here. Your dog can put his head down. Meaning if I'm trimming something here, I don't want Gus's head near that. I want his head up here and away from my scissoring and clipping work. It's very important. So all grooming arms are adjustable. The more sturdy, the more quality your grooming arm is, the more adjustable it is. So I'm going to adjust this so that, here Gus, can you put your head down? He can't, see that? Here Gus, touch mommy. He can't put his head down and he knows it. Good job. And that's okay, that's what you want. They're working here. So now I have this positioned correctly for Gus. However, Gus stand up, good. You can see he can still kind of move around on the table. We don't want that. Stand up Gus. I want Gus to be right in line with that grooming arm. I want him to stay close to the grooming arm. Right now, he's got play. He could come back if he wanted to. He could step off that grooming table if he wanted to. So I'm gonna change that. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this, this chain extension. These are nice. And I'm gonna hook that just to my grooming arm and I'm going to find that little loop. He has so much hair. It's 
hard to show you. I'm going to find this little loop on my groomer's helper grooming loop, and I'm going to fasten it to that. Now, the cool thing about this is you can see there's room here. It's not pulling up on his trachea. Because I've attached it to here, and you want this positioned down. You don't want this to be up here pulling your dog's neck up. You want it pulling down away from the trachea. Now that is the only area that Gus has to move himself on the grooming table, but that's okay. He's up here to work and he knows that. So we just want to make sure he's safely secured on the table. And because he's a big boy, he does pretty much take up the entire grooming table. So I need to know that he's going to stay where he needs to stay. And as you can see, he can't really, he can't back up. That, sorry, bud. This is as far as he can go. He could dance around and slip a leg off the table. He's not going to like that, I guarantee you. And he'll want to put himself back into place. So you want them in line with your grooming arm and close to the grooming arm. And this is one of the ways that you can keep them secured safely on the table and close to the grooming arm. Now I'm going to show you why most grooming tables are adjustable height as well because when i'm working with gus if i couldn't bring this table up i would have to literally get down here to work with his feet whether i'm trimming nails trimming pads um, if i'm clipping in here i have to get down here to do all this well that's where an adjustable grooming table is is a godsend so what i like to do is i like to put my hand under them to secure them and this one here is hydraulic so I'm pumping it up it's okay almost like you know the chairs that you sit in at your hair salon same idea now I have him up where I can work with him and I can clearly see what I'm doing so if I'm trimming pads he's at a great height for me I'm not bending I'm not doing all this good job buddy if I'm, you know, scissoring, he's at a great height. Now, he's a little high right now if I were clipping him, so I simply would bring him down a little bit, like this. Now, your grooming table may not be adjustable. So what I suggest, because if you're a home groomer and you're grooming your pet at home, I suggest that you possibly make your grooming table to fit your dog so that they're they're elevated just enough off the ground that you can do everything that you need to if you have to have a stool when it comes to working with feet then you use a stool maybe one that's on rollers and you can roll around the table if you need to so you have to make it work for you another thing about a grooming table is you can see how the dog's mentality changes when they're on the grooming table, uh, especially when they're properly secured on the grooming table. And, and if you make your own grooming table, I want to let you know that these grooming arms will fit almost anything. They'll fit a picnic table. They're adjustable. They'll fit a card table if you have a tiny dog. You can get the grooming arm. It's very important to have it, as you can see. Without it, Gus would be sitting sideways on this table right now. So you can make your own grooming table or your spouse or a friend or somebody, you can pay somebody to do it. It's worth it. And get one of these grooming arms to mount on your grooming table for your dog. If you don't have the grooming arm, you're not going to have success. And your dog isn't as safe as they should be. That's one of the really, really important things that I want to bring home here today to you guys is this really safely secures your dog on the table and it also allows you to be able to work with them much better. Now here's the other option and I use this in my shop every day. I made this. This is out of paracord. You could, you can buy these little clasps at Walmart. You can buy them anywhere and make your own just with rope if you want, but you just Put it around your table and adjust it properly and hook it to the groomer's helper 
grooming hook here under their under their jaw remember this has this is securing him the way he needs to be on the grooming table it's not choking him trust me i wouldn't choke my dog i wouldn't choke any dog but it's very important to have this setup when you're grooming your dog um, this can be adjusted so if he's dancing if this is too much play then let's wrap it around another time and hook it now if you're having trouble trimming your dog's nails hooking them tight like this to a grooming arm and table you're gonna have success i guarantee you they know that they are more or less kind of restrained their their space is confined when they are situated like this on a grooming table and it's very important so you know you can make your own you can make whatever works for you you can use an old grooming leash and just wrap it around till it's the right length that you need here for your dog you can use another grooming loop and wrap it around and use the hook on the grooming loop to hook here on the groomer's helper this is a game changer guys please take notice of this this is very important now i want to show you this grooming arm now you can see mine's used and abused but it's just as strong as the day that i bought it which was geez a long time ago let me tell you um one of the benefits about them is they are adjustable as i said guys very important this one's adjustable in two places normally I would have my other hand on it to keep it from slamming but I just want to show you the way this works this is how it attaches under my grooming table which is which is how it can attach to any table you choose you can see how much room you have to play with with this um, this is kind of like a clamp clamp adjuster you know so you can put a grooming arm on any table really and on any grooming table unless the thickness of the table is much larger than the abilities of the clamp you can see um, there's a lot of play here and how much room we have to use to clamp it to a table so i just want you guys to know this is a game changer the game changer in grooming your dog successfully at home is a grooming arm a grooming loop specifically the groomer's helper that has this hook on it very important and that loop is adjustable and it locks into place very important a lot of the grooming loops that come with tables portable tables they have no adjustments to them your dog could actually slip out of them so i want to tell you that another very very important thing is to have some way to hook your dog to the groomer's helper and keep them close to that grooming arm now here's one more option if your dog feels a little insecure on the grooming table because maybe they don't feel that they have good footing up there they feel like they're slipping around you can get a grooming mat that goes on your grooming table that's going to give them just a little bit of extra grip make them feel a little bit more secure this one i'll link in the description of the video you could use anything guys you could use a bath mat you could use a towel if it just gives them just a little bit more grip sometimes it makes them feel more confident when they're on the grooming table so that's another thing if your dog seems to be a little stressed when they're on the grooming table try to secure their footing better by putting a mat or a towel or something underneath their feet so they feel like they're not going to slip and they feel very secure.